So the plaster demolition upstairs is all out, finally. What a relief. In this episode, we're really going to start getting on the new stuff, and I can't wait. So stay tuned. Keep watching. My name's Derek. This is my wife, Jenny. We bought a fixer upper. We're remodeling this house one day at a time, all while living in it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get all the latest videos to track our progress. You'll find lots of how-to videos with step-by-step -step instructions to help you with your next do-it-yourself project. Welcome to the Rundown Reborn channel. Well, the tear-out's complete, and I've got everything ready to go. As always, the first step, we've got to get these new floors in and leveled. So on this existing floor I've got to deal with, I've got a peel and stick tile over the top of a linoleum vinyl floor that's been glued down to plywood. That plywood's then been tacked to the old floor. I tried to take a piece out here, maybe two foot square, and it took me forever to get just that one little piece out. So I made the decision I'm just going to go ahead and go over the top of it. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Ideally I would have liked to take it off, but I'm not going to spend a week trying to get this floor off. Now I have a dilemma. I've decided to leave this old floor in and I've got a bit of a transition problem. Here at the very center of the uh, floor is my high point. I do know that this screw right here is level with the center of my floor in this room. Now as I stretch it across into the door opening, I'm level at this point as well pretty much, which puts me right here. Now this screw here is probably about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half in height. You'll see here next to it, I've got another screw, barely above the floor, maybe not even a quarter inch. So the question is, what am I to do? I've got two different level points in two different rooms. So my plan of attack is, I want to level the rooms independently. I want to make sure the room itself is level in each side of the door opening. So it's not ideal, but in these old homes, it's not unheard of. We'll get that transition to happen right at the doorway where it's the least impact, and I think we'll be okay. All right, so I'm about half done with the uh, floor in this room at this point. And my next task is one that I haven't been real excited about. I'm dreading a bit, and that's to uh, start taking this chimney down. It's already been taken down through the roof, but it's still gonna be a chore. So how do you take down a chimney? Brick by brick.
friends, is how you take down a chimney. I'm pretty excited now. My floors are all done up here and I've got a little bit more space to work in. I've taken out this wall here and I'm ready to start doing some framing. So now on this transition area, I ended up with about uh, three quarter inches of difference approximately. And I just decided to go ahead and slope the entire strip through here. I'm gonna be putting a wall here and there's gonna be two doorways here. So I don't think it's gonna be a big issue. And it's a pretty minor slope difference. That being said, we'll do the best we can with those indifferent floors and uh, move on forward. This stud here, I'm just using it to kind of provide some temporary support. I don't think it's gonna move anywhere, but you know, I don't want it to sag a little bit even. So we'll just leave this here until I get some new framing in. There, now everything's out of the way.
what we're doing here is I needed to bring this ceiling down away from that roof structure. I think the plan is we're going to have the air system up above this attic and we need to be able to get that air down into this cavity back in here to be able to distribute down below. So I'm trying to keep a clear pathway from that attic space up above down in between this ceiling here and the roof structure. So by bringing this down lower, we'll still have plenty of room inside the closet. As you can see, I'm standing up, it's plenty of headroom. And uh, we'll have six to eight inches then. We'll be able to get that airflow down in through here to the lower area. something you want to make allowance for is you need to have attachment strips for whatever your finishes are going to be so what I did was I extended this 2x4 over a little bit instead of running a 2x2 two two here or bringing it down below this gives me a, a flap or a flange to uh, bring my finished ceiling across and tack that to and then we'll be able to put the drywall on here so just something to think about as you go got this closet wrapped up it's all ready for insulation and some drywall only thing I really need to do still is add a little bit of blocking for the closet rod that goes across and maybe some shelving so one down one to go as always thanks for watching